Hi guys! So I know this is so late, all my videos are late, I know, I'm sorry. Um, so I am doing a tutorial and a review on the Glam Light Happy Hour collection. Yes, I did buy the whole collection and it's on my face right now. Oh lord, I feel like summer and <laughs> I used all four of these palettes and highlighters and lipsticks. Um, I am wearing one of the lipsticks on my face. Now, oh my god, I feel like I'm going out for like a summer spring brunch and it's like fall and traveling into winter now and this is totally probably not appropriate for fall winter but I want to do something colorful and fuck it. Uh, <laughs> just decided to have a lot of colorful fun. I kind of like the look I did. It's very um, colorful and playful. Very um, summery, springy. I'm sure I can create some really cool holiday looks um, coming up for Christmas with the Dirty Martini palette and the maybe the margarita palette maybe we'll see um uh, yeah so this is the first time i'm actually playing with it using it um i'm gonna get right into the review and then at the end i will put in the tutorial for this look that i created um i'm just gonna go right in i'm gonna start with the highlighters So we have the Pina Colada highlighter and we have the Mimosa highlighter. So this is like more for pale tone, lighter skins. Um, and this Mimosa highlighter is more of a golden for darker skin, skin tones. Um, but I did use the Mimosa as a highlighter on the inner corner. It's actually really pretty and I feel like I could use this as like part of an eyeshadow too. <clears throat> I've used golds before, gold highlighters, and this one I used on my face and my inner corner, like up in the brow area and all over my face. So this is highlighter right here on my cheeks and my nose, all over my face. These are actually really nice. Like, it's not blinding but subtle and you can build it up, get the light reflection off of that is so nice um but look at that that is so pretty and the mimosa one oh uh, it is so pretty like look at this gold that is straight up freaking gold and you can see here on my inner corner you can it's straight up gold but it's very very pretty I know I can use both, even if I'm not using them for, you know, an all-over highlighter. Um, okay, so now I'm going to do a review on the palette. I'm going to start with the Dirty Martini because it's on top. I do have it at least two colors right here on my bottom lash line. Those are some intense pigmented greens, let me tell you. They're pigmented. <clears throat> I did use, let's see, Dry Vermouth right here. And I also used Dirty Martini. They're so pretty. Um, there's a nice mix of like neutrals and greens in this palette. Um, it kind of reminds me of Jeffree Star's Blood Money, but I mean, not quite, not quite. It's still pretty. The highlights are pretty good. Or the shimmers, I'm sorry. I cannot fucking talk today. <sighs> My mental health has been lacking, unfortunately. I've been doing less reviews lately. Um, so I'm kind of just a little lackluster myself today. And I'm really sorry. But let's just 
continue on with this review. Um, anyways, so yeah, these are really pretty. So her formulas, um, Giselle, her formulas are pretty different. Her shimmer formulas have been pretty different lately. Um, they're still really good. They're very pretty here. I'll just do like a little swatchy. This one's called High Class. Look at that gold. Like, oh my god. <sighs> that is so freaking gold. It's got a little bit of a green shift to it too. And it's still staying on my finger. <laughs> Okay, um, but yeah, I think she has a few different kinds of formulas in here. Some are way, way more like glittery and some are just more of a shimmer. Um, yeah, these are really pigmented, at least the Dirty Martini palette for a green. They're all vegan, animal cruelty free. And then we have the Margarita palette. And all of these have nutrition facts on the back, which is really cool. She does all her packaging. And here is the margarita palette. This one has fruit on it because you can have different flavors of margaritas. I love margaritas. I love tequila. I like hard liquor. <laughs> um, but these are very summertime colors. The color that I use from this one is the watermelon one and also the shade Prickly Pear on my front lid here. I mean, it's okay. Um, it's not what I expect from her formula, but it's still very pretty. Um, still a bit of reflective. I guess it depends on how the light hits it. It's like pink with a purple glitter shift in it. Um, the pink is very, very light pink, as you can see, um, I tried to blend it in with the purple here from the wine palette, it's, it's actually really pretty pink to blend in with a purple, but it definitely does give me like watermelon, like artificial flavors of watermelon, kind of those vibes. Um, it also kind of makes me think of Peeps, I don't know why, I, I love Peeps, but it this color story kind of makes me think of like peeps because they have like all these color colors of peeps i don't know and then we have the wine palette i don't like dry wines like dry red wines i'm more of a mm, sweet wine lover also fruit wines if you didn't know fruit wines existed they actually do and they are so sweet so good so if you don't like dry wines i would say try a fruit wine because they're so good but anyways um <laughs> wine palette um uh, mostly purples we do have a few pinks in here and it looks like we have like a yellowy gold white shade in here it's called Chardonnay, I think. Yeah, but the shade I used is Pour It Up. Yeah, that one, Pour It Up. And I also, the second half of my lid, I also did use Napa. It's like a purple, shifty, blue, green, glitter shimmer. Um, that one you can kind of tell more right here. And then, of course, Pour It Up is um, uh, right here on the outer corner. And then, last but not least, the Chocolate Martini palette. This one's not a little, not as prominent in my eye look because I kind of just use it as a buffer shade. Um, I actually love martinis and anything chocolate, yes. Especially when they come around the holidays and they have, like, a pepper martini or a chocolate whatever martini usually they have them around the holidays cute 
here is the chocolate martini palette. This is very much pretty much neutrals. There's like one blue shimmer shade in here, which you know I, I don't really get. But I guess it might be just to break up all these neutral colors, maybe. Um, but the only shade I actually did use from the chocolate martini palette is actually this shade right here. And it's called Irish Cream. Um, neutrals are really not my favorite, but it blended out really good and it helped blend out that pink just a bit there um, near my brow. It's a really good buffer shade. Um, but I can definitely say if you're really into neutrals and that's what you stick to most of the time, this is a really good palette to buy and you don't want to play with color, that's cool. Um, I like color, I like, I'm very alternative, obviously, you can see, um, neutrals are really not my thing, it's not really my go-to, I take my time to do my makeup and really play out the colors or color scheme or whatever I'm doing, um, but I mean, if maybe some of you really want to see how I can do a neutral eye look, um, with this palette or do an eyebrow tutorial, please let me know because some of you guys really <laughs> um, feel like you can't achieve what I do as far as alternative. Maybe I can give you like a video on how to get your brows looking all snatched and how to do maybe a simple look that's a little more rounded for the eye shape. Um, and do more of a bit of a neutral look for you guys. Um, so comment down below if you actually want that. Um, I had a few people comment the saying they wanted that in two of my other videos, but seriously, let me know because I will do it for you. Um, so those are the four palettes. Um, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. And then we have the lipstick bundle, which I am wearing one of them. I'm wearing the middle one. This one is called Pinot Noir. It's a wine color. It's very pretty and I actually like that I picked this one for this look. I feel like a neutral lip would have like meh for this very colorful look. But there's two liquid lips in this and then the rest are gloss, highly pigmented glosses. Now I know I say this all the time, I'm not really a gloss fan. Um, but I'm kind of trying. I have a lot of his, of Jeffree Star's Supreme Glosses. Um, they're okay. I don't like to, if I'm going to go out and have dinner, I don't like to wear them because I don't want to touch it up because I'm lazy. Um, and I like liquid lips because they stay on longer, even though they're a little drying. But I prefer my lips to be a little dry than to, you know, have to reapply all the time and especially with masks we're still wearing masks where I live which is in Oregon and um you know liquid lipsticks just stay way better and they don't get all over my mask and all of that so liquid lips are for me but hey if I'm gonna wear whatever I'm wearing just around the house and I'm not gonna go out I'll put on a gloss why not um I did consider wearing this neutral look, liquid lip called Rum. I felt it was a little too basic or neutral for this look since it's very colorful. Uh, <clears throat> um, but then we have Whiskey right here. And it's a very neutrally brown pigmented gloss. And then we have Irish Cream right here, high pigmented gloss. And then this one is vodka. Now I love vodka. I love hard liquor. Tequila, vodka, absinthe, vermouth. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but this is actually um, more of a clear gloss. Um, it's like a very clear, sparkly gloss. Um, so far, the Pinot Noir gloss, actually, or liquid lip, um, I actually really like. It's not sticky. It's very pigmented. I had it was very pigmented with the first layer, but I did a second layer um, just because I wanted it to really cover my lips. 
But yeah, these are really cool. Um, you really like glosses or you like the liquid lipsticks or you just like the colors and you want to try them. Buy it. Um, I don't remember all the prices of everything. I'm pretty sure I bought the collection for like, I want to say almost 200 I don't even know. I'll, I'll just link everything down in the description box below of every price of all of the prices um, of each individual item. And then I'll also put the prices of all the bundles. Um, I think that's pretty much everything in the collection. We had the lipsticks, the four palettes, the two highlighters. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I guess I'll talk about the packaging before I head over to, you know, put in the uh, tutorial. Um, but the packaging is so cute. Look at this packaging. And the palettes fit, like, right in here. And, like, they did have, like, a wrap around them, kind of like when you do for a wine bottle. Which is really cool. That was a really cool experience to do. Um, but all of the palettes came in one of these in different colors for like each palette. So this one's a chocolate martini, then a green one for the dirty martini, and then a pink or red one for the margarita palette, and a purple one for the wine palette. These are so cool, and I love Glamlight's packaging. Like, they always go above and beyond with all their packaging, and it's so cool that I always end up keeping them because why not eventually I will end up moving and I will have a space instead of just like up here in the background on my shelving of all my stuff that I like collect I will be able to have you know bookcases and stuff for shelving to display these so I think their packaging is always 10 out of 10 I always enjoy opening PR packages um, from Glamlight, and that's the thing about Glamlight is every single person ends up feeling like they're getting PR because it comes in a PR type package for every single person who buys it. And it's not just for, you know, the people who end up receiving PR on Glamlight's PR list. We get to feel like we're on that list too, even though we're buying it, which is so great and I love that. Um, I think that's all I have to say about this collection. It was really great. I liked playing with it. I really had to challenge my creativity with four palettes, um, which I've never done before. Usually it's just a one palette and done thing and I create a look with one palette and one lipstick or lip gloss from the collection, but I really challenged myself to create this look with four palettes. And um, if you have any questions or Whatever, you know what to do, put them down in the comments. Um, I just wanna say uh, thank you guys for subscribing and liking my videos and um, really supporting me in my YouTube journey. Um, it's been a, quite of a ride. And the year is almost over and I've been on YouTube for almost a whole year. <laughs> Um, but thank you for continuing to watching my videos and support me and I can't wait to do more giveaways. Um, my two previous videos I talk about doing a give giveaway and, um, that giveaway actually ends today, unfortunately, but I will do another one, I promise. Um, I have more stuff to give away, um, so maybe when I hit... 200 or 300 more subscribers I'll do another giveaway um but uh yeah I'll shut up and uh put the tutorial in now and I really hope you enjoy this review of the Lamb Light Happy Hour Collection bye guys